Now, the extreme heat can certainly be dangerous for a lot of people. But as News Center Maine's Alex Haskell joins us live to explain tonight, some people are at more at risk right now than others. Hi, Alex. Hi, Brian and Amanda. Well, sometimes unable to express their own needs, these temperatures can be especially risky for those living with Alzheimer's disease and other dementias. As it progressed, he would have very scary hallucinations that somebody was trying to hurt him. One of the many ways dementia affected James Craven, the husband of state representative Margaret Craven. I quit my job and uh, stayed home with him. To take care of her ailing partner, who at least once wandered away from home. This uh, person called and he said, you know, your husband is out in the middle of the road. Common behavior for those living with Alzheimer's disease and other dementias. It can be life threatening any time of the year, but even more so during excessive heat like Maine is experiencing. On Thursday, it could feel as hot as 115 degrees. Heat is shown to increase confusion and agitation in people who have um, already cognitive impairment. Amy Angelo is with the Alzheimer's Association main chapter. She says oftentimes people with dementia are unable to share how the heat is affecting them and what's causing them to wander. A lot of people have a longing for wanting to be home. Perhaps they're experiencing a memory and they want to go try and find that memory again. Angelo suggests having a routine in place and making sure basic needs like hydration are met. You have to be with them all the time. A taxing responsibility representative Craven knows well, but she says getting out of the house can be helpful, especially on hot days. To go to a cooling station, uh, to keep them entertained, now, the Alzheimer's Association says knowing the signs of heat exhaustion can be life saving, especially for those who aren't able to communicate well. Some symptoms to be on the lookout for are confusion, dizziness and flushed skin. Brian Amanda. Alex Haskell, live for us tonight. Important information for a lot of families. Mm -hmm. Alex, thank you.